The bones of the human skeleton provide structure and movement by acting as levers for the attachment of muscles. Over time, bones change size, shape, and density as a result of the changing pressure and weight, or load, put on the bones through physical activity and gravity. The primary load-bearing bones are the long bones of the legs, pelvis, and lower part of the spine. These contain trabecular bone, a microscopic, lightweight, yet very strong bone that, like a bridge structure, can support large loads. Our bones are adapted to the amount of gravity we experience on Earth. In the reduced gravity of space, the body detects less load to bear and begins to thin what appears to be surplus bone structure. The result is bone loss. This happens quickly, especially in trabecular bone. On Earth, a woman over 50 who is untreated for bone loss can lose 2% of hip bone mass in one year. In space, astronauts can lose the same amount in a single month. Upon returning to Earth, regenerating bone mass can take three times as long as it took to lose. NASA research has identified resistive exercise, like lifting or moving a weight, as an effective way to minimize bone loss on Earth and in space. Astronauts on the International Space Station perform up to two and a half hours of exercise six days a week to minimize the negative effects of spaceflight on their bones and muscles. NASA's research into bone loss has helped to heighten our awareness of the connection between gravity, activity, and ways the body gets signals for the creation of new bone. There is real hope that in continuing to research how to protect astronauts from bone loss, NASA may unlock the key to helping us all keep our bones strong and healthy well into our golden years.